Hey, how's it going, you damn Deoxys? Today we're going to be playing some games with Zapdos Lycanroc. I know, I know, it's another Zapdos deck, but there's a lot of them, and they're all different and interesting and uh, kind of cool. Yeah, so Zapdos, D, uh, Zapdos Lycanroc today is the deck we're going to be playing around with. Um, I'm very close to the list. I got second over at the regional in Brazil, I believe, over the weekend. Um, only a couple cards different. Um, Couple changes, couple changes that I made myself. Actually, I built I built the deck without looking at his list, and it ended up being only a couple cards different. Um, but go ahead and give him a shout out, anyways. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is the deck. This is the deck that uh, one of the decks that people have been playing with Zapdos to try and help themselves have a better matchup against Zorark. Specifically, adding the Lycanroc in there, more Gust Effects. Um, also pretty good against Malamar. Um, the extra Gust Effects good against anything really. Having the extra Gust Effects through the Bloodthirsty Eyes. Uh, we got the Sledgehammer turn with the Buzzwool, and then besides that, it really is just a Zapdos deck. We're using Zapdos early and often, uh, Sledgehammer turn on four, and then we clean up with Lycanroc and Coco GX, if you for some reason don't use them earlier on. Um, so that's it, that's all I really got to say on the list. Um, I'm not sure how I really feel about the Lycanroc uh, build of the Zapdos deck. I haven't had a whole ton of time to play around with it. Um, I found it to be pretty decent so far, um, but I haven't been super impressed. Well, let's go ahead and get to some games and uh, see if those can change my opinion. First game here, ooh, not a great start, but our opponent also opened Lele, so we'll take it, we'll take it. Uh, rough start for rough start. Definitely getting preemptively get this lightning energy in on this uh, type of Coco. Don't want to give them access to reinforce until we need to actually utilize it, so we're just going to go ahead and play the Cynthia. No idea what our opponent is playing. Um, we definitely want a Zapdos here, though. I'm gonna go ahead and grab him. Uh, Tapu Lele in the active. I'm trying to figure out if it's worth it benching the other. Um, Jirachi. Definitely gonna do it now. Got the escape board so we can get off. Plus one Stellar Wish for the turn. Uh, the other options were Lily and more damage modifiers. Uh, the Lily would have been okay, but nothing spectacular. Uh, I definitely grab the Guzma. One of the best options on turn two for a Zapdos deck is the Guzma. And go ahead and then pass over to our opponent. And uh, see, see, finally, finally, see what we're playing against here. Tapu Lele does not tell us a whole lot. There's a Volkner, so we're playing against a, another lightning deck uh, here from our opponent. Um, of course, there's so many different builds um, <laughs> that doesn't tell us a whole ton. There's a Nest Ball and a Lightning Energy. Um, Ball We're gonna go ahead and get themselves a Zapdos. All right, there he is, and then escape rope from our opponent. Hmm, what do I want to send up here? They probably can knock us out. Well, they can for sure knock it out. It depends. Do they have an E power? I definitely don't want to send up the Coco GX. Um, I think I'm just gonna send up a Zapdos. Maybe call their bluff a little bit and see if they actually have an E power. Um. Oh, no E-Power. All right. So we uh, get a little bit of an advantage on that one for sure. Um, going to go ahead and Guzma back up the Lele. Get off a Stellar Witch and then just go ahead and punch this thing for uh, probably 110. There's an Ultra Ball I could get rid of. Hmm. I kind of want to grab the Lily here to be able to draw some cards on the following turn. I uh, could Ultra Ball for a Zapdos. Um... Use, then use that, punch the Lele. Then we don't have anything as a follow-up. I think I want to go with the Lele, uh, Lily here. And then we're just going to go ahead and punch this Lele with the Zapdos. Um, debating using the Choice Band. Yeah, I kind of like it. It sets it up so that a Zapdos at any point can just kind of knock this thing out if it doesn't get healed. So yeah, I kind of like this. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like punching the Lele here, uh, or with the Choice Band. We're definitely punching the Lele here, just if we use the Choice Band or not. There's the Max Potion. All right, so Choice Band kind of wasted there, unfortunately, and they'll easily be able to retreat and knock us out with their Zapdos. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but not a huge deal. We'll be able to recover fine from this, hopefully. Hopefully that, that one play doesn't snowball into a ridiculous lead for our opponent, but it's very possible it does, actually. Um, Eevee makes its way to the bench. Would like to KO that, but with our current hand, I don't think that's going to be happening. We definitely need to look for 
Um, oh, they play dumbbells as well. All right, the dumbbells are going to be super annoying for sure. There's a thunderous assault. Yeah, we're going to be looking for the return KO on this thing for sure. That's our game plan. And then figure out some way to deal with the EV. We're about to go into sledgehammer turn, actually, so it won't be that hard. Um, yeah. Pretty good hand, actually. Make sure the buzz is here. The buzz is here. Um, we're running out of energy, though, already. Prize looks like three lightning energy. Sheesh. All right, there's a good chance we draw one, then. This turn. There's a fighting energy. We need that. Um... That's before that. I think we get rid of the Ultra Ball here. Um, don't want to get rid of Guzma. Don't want to get rid of E-Power. Don't want to get rid of Aquaf. Don't want to get rid of Nest Ball. So I think the Ultra Ball is the guy to leave here for that Lightning Energy. We already played an E-Power, so we're good to go for the Knockout. I'm not going to show the Baby Buzz yet because it might make them play differently. Um, I really want them to take a Knockout this turn and not play slower and then if we don't show it there's a better chance that they uh huh we'll just play how they've been playing and take a knockout and then we can get off the sledgehammer which will actually hit through the dumbbells and knock out the jolteon um i definitely expect that jolteon to be making his way active this turn and making some moves so that's fine with us and if not we could actually set up the lycan rock potentially next turn um with nest ball maybe it was better to keep the ultra ball because of that because then we can for sure set up the lycan rock but uh, I think it's kind of crowded that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. We, we, we didn't really have two cards to potentially get rid of with the Ultra Ball, I think is the biggest problem. Um, they get out their Cocoa Prism, and then there's the Energy Evolution. Yep, into the Jolteon, like I said. I know that's coming out, um, but we're going to try and respond with the... There's the E-Power, so they're taking the Knockout with Electro Bullet. They don't have much else. I wouldn't be surprised if our opponent concedes after we show them the Sledgehammer here. Jirachi... Draw for turn. Nest ball. There's the buzz wool. Uh, I'm gonna go attach sledgehammer. Attach Lily for two. Um, I would go ahead and put down the other rock rough. I don't see a reason not to. Stellar wish. Thunder mountain. It gives us the most options off that, I think. Yeah. And then retreat and sledgehammer. So we're in a pretty good spot now. The Sledgehammer knockout going down to three prizes. Our opponent at four and did not have not have really anything going on in their last turn. So we're actually in a really good spot. Um, the only thing we're missing right now is a potential attacker. We can't actually attack at all. Oh, no, we can attack with the Coco because we got that energy on there early. All right, so we can still attack here with the uh, Coco GX. I take that back. We do have a way to attack. Um, but, yeah, opponent in a really rough spot. We'll see if they're able to pull anything out here. This turn, there's an Ultra Ball, so they're going to be able to find something. And there we have the Viridian Force, and we put the Viridian Force in play, so they have that going for them as well. Going to be able to find energy for sure. Um, I don't know what they're going to grab here. Oh, I didn't even see it. Was that a Zerora GX? Was it Coco GX? Electro Charger, all right. I have yet to see one of those make their way into a uh, Jirachi deck, but definitely feels like it is a good card. It is the Coco GX. They don't have a way to knock out the Buzzwool. Um, let's see if they actually go ahead and pop this as well, but they're just kind of using it as a wall for right now. Um, so yeah, I, we're still in a very, very good spot right here. Um, we can just Sledgehammer this Coco. Um, or potentially actually knock it out if we top deck a damage modifier not quite but we can look for one um i'm gonna go ahead and bring force away the lily our hand is way too big for that right now gonna grab ourselves a fighting energy we have a choice band and two e-power left so yeah we have a whole bunch of options here we're gonna play the escape rope send up jirachi we can actually use two jirachis here to try and find a damage modifier and take out that coco Hey, found it on the first one. I actually probably want the... Uh, no, we probably want the E-Power so we can potentially Choice Band a Lycanroc later on. Um, don't need to use the Lycanroc yet because we can combo that with a Supporter later on. So we're going to go ahead and use a Guzma here while we can. Um, I'll take the Cynthia, I think, over the Stretcher. We already have a ton of attackers set up at this point. And then Lightning, E-Power, E-Power, Thunder Mountain, and then Guzma. Gotta get the knockout with those sky high claws on our opponents. Uh, 
Drop Coco GX. There we go. Goodbye. Hello. C, Ultra Ball, and Jirachi. All right. Great. All right. Tall order from our opponent to be able to come back on this one. Still possible, I guess. Well, I mean, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Seems tough. Seems tough. Um, uh, they would need a ex very explosive turn here. Knock out this, and then we have to have no way to return knockout. Which is possible, I guess. They even play Acrobikes. Alright, so they're like a Turbo turbo Zapdos build. Acrobikes and Electro Charger. And then they got the, the fallback of the Dumbbells. Um, I don't actually hate that, actually. So you kind of like probably play less Choice Band for the Dumbbells. And you have a large Electro Charger to make up for that missing damage. Going to be a pass from our opponent. And... Excuse me. Um, I think we actually just set up for the swing around here. That's usually what I like to do when I have this extra turn. Swing around is like really weird though, because we only play three fighting energy. But we'd have one left still. Um a little awkward, but we could always do it later. I actually might attach no energy here and just go high claws. Because we still have the Coco Prism, so we can kind of set up anything out of nowhere. Can set up the swing around. Can set up the Lycan Rock uh GX attack. Because we haven't used our GX attack yet, which is a big big deal actually. We have yet to use our GX attack. So I guess it's fine to hold off. Yeah. Heavy on the dumbbells. And Acerola as well. Okay. So, still got to work through this Jolteon. Now, we're still on Sledgehammer turn, though. So, oh, but they can GX attack. All right. So, they're going to be GX attacking. And, uh, yeah, that'll uh, stop it from... Oh, but there's a Let Loose Marsh Shadow. Okay. So, still GX attacking. But if I was them, I would not have Let Loose Marsh Shadow. This means I can still win the game on my turn. Um, yep, there's the Ultra Ball for the Lycan Rock, and we'll bring up that more Shadow and knock him out. Yep, Swift Run GX, of course, that's what I expected, but not going to be good enough here um, from our opponent. Going to get that Lycan Rock, bring up the Marsh Shadow. Yep, they know what's happening, and we're going to go ahead and take a pretty clean game one. Our opponent, not, not the best of draws, um, and our deck was uh, running pretty smooth in that one. Another one here. I'm kind of debating just opening the Lone Rock Rough because then we could potentially corner something. Um, but yeah, it's not worth it. If we get let loose, I'd much rather have a Zapdos in play. Not gonna put the Coco Prism in play just yet. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. Playing against another Lightning deck. Um, at least they played the Coco GX. That's for sure. What else do they play? Who knows? Uh, yeah, would not have been great just to open the Rock Rough. Uh, Lightning decks play quite a few switching cards. I don't think the uh, corner was going to be sticking them for very long. Uh, and a small here from our opponent. Um, so they're setting up pretty good so far, as far as I can tell. Besides the Coco GX start, not great. I mean, we opened it ourselves last game, and it didn't end up being too bad. Um, and in fact, I think our opponent is mirroring the start that we just had in our last game. Yep, and there's the escape rope as well. Another reason to kind of not open the Zapdos, or not bench the Zapdos, is like when you get a, you can get it pushed into the active by escape rope. Um, which can be really annoying. Just kind of really annoying to deal with. Um, yeah, really not too big of a deal. Um, we should be fine. I'm not too worried about it. Again, their Stellar Wish on. Found themselves a Volkner. Let's see if that is going to end up being their turn one supporter or not. Not a great turn one supporter. Um, but better than nothing. That's for sure. Oh, nope. They're just going with the Let Loose. There we go. If I was them, I would have just started off with the Let Loose and then looked... Um, Look for new cards off the Stellar Wish after. Yep, here we go. Let loose. We did have a draw supporter and an S wall, so our hand was pretty decent, but it could definitely improve. This is not an improvement, though. This is definitely a. Uh, <laughs> quite the opposite. Quite the opposite of an improvement right here. All right. We'll see where this goes. We have a top deck to work with. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not expecting a whole ton, but uh, I hope for the best here. An S ball from our opponent. So they're setting up very well here. Drachi. I expect probably another Drachi to be grabbed here. Um, nope. Going to be the Absol. Absol is pretty annoying as well. That works. That works. Um, yeah. So not in a great spot, uh, especially with this hand. Potential to top deck. So that's good. And um, yeah, I'm just kind of hoping for the best from here. And hopefully it uh, pans out. Lily off the top would be great. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, we can knock out this Jirachi if we want to. Um, which might definitely stump, uh, slow down our opponent. They have not played a supporter yet. I think we actually want to go with that. Um, question is, what do we get rid of off the 
Viridian Forest. I'm almost thinking I get rid of Jirachi, actually. If we get any kind of switch card, Jirachi is pretty good. But yeah, let's get rid of the Fighting Energy. Grab a Lightning, just kind of check through here. We prize one Zapdos, one Lycanroc. We have the other Rock up on the bench. Um, one Lily. One Ultra Ball. And I have no idea what else we prize. Some other stuff. All right, gonna go ahead and get this Lightning Energy. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna do a very weak uh, Thunderous Assault. I'm gonna go ahead and bench. Um, kind of hesitant to bench it. Because uh, we could get an Ultra Ball, but Ultra Ball really, really doesn't find us anything. We don't play a Let This Marsh Shadow of our own. So knock out Jirachi here. There's a Lycanroc. Not very useful on our next turn for sure. Um, but we might have got, uh, got this game into a uh, little bit of a stalemate here. Our opponent did not play a draw supporter last turn um, after the let loose. So that means they probably do not have one in hand, which means they're probably not doing that much with their turn. Uh, anyways, uh, they might have a Guzma in hand, and we did just give them Viridian Forest. So they will be able to draw a prize on the Raka for Jirachi. Um, but I'd rather have that than uh, anything else. So they got rid of a energy switch here. So they're probably playing a Pikaram build of the deck. So that does... Um, give us an advantage overall in the matchup as long as we are able to eventually get out of this uh, Dead draw that is going on right here um, As long as you're able to get out of this dead draw. Okay, there's a aether paradise. That's gonna be annoying to deal with um, On the big GX Pokemon, uh, but we have some other counter stadiums in the deck. All right, Lily top deck I don't really want to put down the Lycanroc um, Yet um, We can actually just start swinging with what a draw man we can just start swinging with the coco gx um, i actually checked my prizes for once so i know it's in there and with how our opponent's drawing this is definitely one of the times where you want to get aggressive with the coco gx um and just start swinging with it um you know your opponent has absolutely nothing going on no reason not to just go ahead and start swinging with coco gx and just uh start doing some uh good damage And uh, Sky High Claws, yeah. yeah. No reason not to just start, go ahead and swing with the Coco GX. Our opponent has one card hand and didn't do anything with the last turn. Um, and that's why if you have Let Loose, you should just Let Loose and then use Jirachi. Uh, let Loose is such a, good, such a good card on the turn one. Just go ahead and Let Loose first, man. Go ahead, there's no reason not to. We could have actually Lycan rocked, knocked out the Zapdos. I get, no, we, we would have been one damage off. All right, there's a concession from our opponent. No surprise to me, really. Um, they were in a, definitely a terrible spot, and now uh, we end up taking another dub there. Uh, so far, looking pretty good with the Zap Lycanroc. Getting into it here, another game. Uh, good start, the Jirachi start. We got a Nest Ball for the Zapdos, and uh, yeah, we're going to be cruising. Got the Lily as well. Pretty much the ideal start um, to be looking at uh, early on. See what our opponent's playing here. Getting their basics down. Playing against, all right, looks like a mirror match of some type. Um, yeah, all right. Lily. Definitely want to get another Jirachi out. Prefer to do it with a Nest Ball. Whoa, all righty then. Sleeping. Um, gonna get rid of lightning and switch. Grab another Jirachi. Pull off another Stellawish. Um, I feel like the other skateboard's not necessary yet. We're gonna go ahead and take the choice band and then pass it over to our opponent. I could have played the escape rope earlier. Before everything started going down, um, when I discard the switch there, no, that was definitely right. Yeah, I could have played the escape rope um, before I even benched the Zapdos, but then I like the escape rope was so good to like force them to force something up and knock it out, so I decided to keep that to hang on to it. Um, I think that was still probably correct. Got an S ball, so we'll see what we're playing against for sure. There's at least Noibat involved, so I think it's gonna be the what's it called GX here. There's a Ditto, so I assume. Uh, I was going to say, I assume Muck, but maybe not Muck. They're running a Jirachi engine of their own. 
But I guess I wouldn't be horribly surprised or terribly surprised if a muck did come out here. Um, but yeah, I assume. Oh, attached to the Jirachi. Okay, interesting. I assume they are playing. Um, man, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called. All right, so we got a whole ton we can do this turn. So we just want to find some more basics. All right, Lily is definitely the way to go here. Or Cynthia, not Lily. Jeez. Escape rope. Definitely gonna knock this thing out. Um, while I have energy in hand, I really want to find another basic or another Zapdos specifically. There we go. Perfect. I'm not gonna put the Viridian Force in play because I don't want to give it our opponent access to it if we don't have to. And we currently don't have to. Choice Man can make its way down on one of these guys. And then, yeah, Cynthia. Draw some cards. All right, bunch of options in this one. And Retreat and Thunderous Assault. Taking the knockout here on this Noibat. Once again, not not too sure specifically what we're playing against. I would assume it's a Noivern GX deck. Um, hmm, yeah, I would assume it's a Noivern GX deck, but uh, we'll see for sure here soon, I assume. Um, there's a multi switch. All right, so they were ready the whole time. Your opponent can't play any special enemy cards from their hand during their next turn. Um, I assume that's what our opponent's going to be going after here. Uh, they could... Oh, no, it's going to be the, the Distort this turn. No item cards. All right. Well, we have the Guzma, so we're still going to be able to take a knockout on this Jirachi. So that's not too bad. Actually, we'll probably chase the Noibat. Ooh, Ninetales as well. Not scared of the Ninetales, though. I think we're going to go after this Noibat here. Yeah. Still gonna use our Stellar Wishes. Despite not being able to use our items yet. Yeah, another Guzma is great. Um, I think we just send up the damage one here. And we can just keep picking off on his bench if he's gonna keep uh, attacking with that Distort. That's fine with me. Picking off the Pokemon on the bench is fine with me. Um, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do a whole ton to the active while he is using the Distort. Yeah. Gonna be tough to get through to actually hit this thing while he's distorting. So, Guzma, pick off on the bench for right now. Could hit us with the Sonic Volume next turn though, but then we'd be able to uh, kind of unleash some uh, some more uh, stuff. So I don't know if they would want to do that at all. Um, this hand is a little bit clogged up. Thankfully we have the Cynthia's, and we still have the Guzma option, like I said. We should keep Guzma knocking stuff out if our opponent is just gonna chill here and distort. It's not actually really preventing us from uh, playing out our turn and there's a let loose all right that's definitely gonna be a little bit well it's not even that annoying our hand was not that great the only thing we had really in it was the guzma um counter catcher on our other zapdos with the choice band uh, doesn't bother me too much one two three four okay the hand kind of stinks now we do have the switch but if they distort we can't switch uh, so we'll see what uh, see what they go with. It's gonna be the distort. If they find an energy, are they gonna go with the sonic volume? Uh, we'll see. Only shuts off the special energies. All right, it's just gonna be the distort. So we're stuck here. We can hit him for 40 at the very least, though. So it's really not that big of a deal. We're at least doing something. Um, Buzz will not gonna make his way to the bench this turn. No need to. 40 damage and distort still does not knock out our Zapdos so we can hit him with another 40 damage on our next turn and just chill I actually would imagine this card probably plays healing cards um, so that's gonna be annoying to deal with eventually yeah I would imagine there is healing cards in a deck like this I maybe should have just attached this lightning to a Jirachi but if I find another Zapdos, I'd rather have that Lightning Energy find its way to a Zapdos. Um, but I could have attached it to a Jirachi just so if I get um, Coco GX here. Oh, they play a Lycanroc. I imagine they only play the Lycanroc to evolve off the Ditto. I did not see what they grabbed there. Maybe they're going to discard it. There it is. Giratina. Okay, so they play Giratina. Oh, okay, so that's how they probably set up the Zapdoses. Um, do the 10, 10 damage ping so they can actually distort and knock distort twice to knock out Zapdos uh, so it might be just like a full like they might their gameplay might be just to use full-on distort throughout a game um, which is interesting that's kind of cool 
Um, I don't think it's super effective uh, overall, but I, I could be wrong. We're currently stuck on a hand that we would definitely be able to use if we had access to item cards. There's the Devoured Field, so actually that will also help them um, get this knockout here. Um, going with an attachment, they could Sonic Boom. They might go for the Sonic Boom. Maybe they play two Giratina, and then they can like KO Jirachis. Oh, this will actually knock out both of my Pokemon. All right, that's pretty good. Actually, that's actually pretty good. That's cool. I dig it. Uh, I'm gonna set up this one first because we can still I wish and then switch into the other one. Yeah, I dig that play. That's kind of cool. Uh, Sledgehammer is online, uh, but we definitely would prefer to knock this thing out, which I think we can now do as long as what's it called is in the deck. The Coco Prism. There he is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start Stellar Wishing now. Get the Lily. Switch. Um, bench. Uh, we could bench this play. Yeah, so we want to go Stellar Wish again. The Brilliant Forest. Brilliant Forest makes its way out. And I think we're gonna go ahead and save our GX attack here and just take the knockout with the Sky High Claws. Um, I don't really see a reason to use the GX attack when we can just Sky High Claws knock out. Um, it uses an E power, but we have all of our E power left, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, Buzzwell potential for next turn. Gonna go ahead and bench the Zap guy. Stretcher, not necessary yet. Yeah, and then Sky High Claws for the knockout here on our opponents. Uh, Noivern GX down to two prizes, uh, so we're two Guzmas away potentially from being able to win the game. Or Lycanroc, Blethers guys, if we could find a Rockruff. And that's kind of like, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not super keen on this build of Zap Jirachi yet. Uh, but I definitely did want to showcase it to you guys, let you guys kind of make your own decision on how much you guys like it. Um, I just feel like it struggles sometimes with, uh, um, struggles a little bit sometimes with just like actually utilizing the Lycanroc. Um, it feels like it's kind of hard to get into play and actually start attacking with sometimes. Um, it's hard to find the Rock Ruffs because um, you have to use your Nest Balls and stuff early. Get your Zapdoses going and stuff. I don't know. Definitely feels hard to sometimes get the Lycan Rocks going in this deck. Maybe I just don't draw into... Uh, I mean, just, maybe it's just variants for me so far with playing the deck and I just haven't been able to draw into them. That is also uh, possible. Um... But yeah, it definitely is a uh, another solid build of Zapdos, that's for sure. There's a Wondrous Labyrinth. Okay, that's pretty annoying. All right, all right. Uh, we still have two stadiums left of our own, so we can, like, get out of this. Um, there are They are going to set up their Nine Tails here. Counter gain as well, but they did just put Wondrous Labyrinth. Oh, no, but it is a Fairy-type Pokemon. All right, they're going to start picking on our Jirachis here. Uh, we can swing with Coco currently, and actually we just have Knockout here. Because of the 10 damage from the Rainbow Energy, we just actually have Knockout. So I was like trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to win this one as soon as possible. But it was just handed to us uh, right now. Um, Lightning Energy, Choice Band, E-Power, and then the Sky High Claws, 190, 10 damage from the Rainbow, 200 damage. Take the Knockout here on the Nine Tails, and that's going to close out this one here with the... Zapdos uh, Lycanroc deck. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like I said, I'm not super keen on this build of Zapdos yet, but I definitely want to showcase it to you guys. Let you guys have your own opinions on it if you haven't seen it yet. And this is it. Um, check out the links for my Twitch live stream as well as social media links in the description below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and uh, peace.